Hello everybody, this is Eater Jeff, 911 here, and we're back for more of Resident Evil 1. In the last part, we went down to the basement of the guardhouse, and in this part we will be using the key we found in the, uh, well, the basement of the guardhouse. And also, uh, off screen, I got the red book out of the um, item box, so... Let us proceed on with the game. So, here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot commentary. Uh, yeah, it's like the part of all this point of being a Let's Player, isn't it now? Hmm. Well, well, come back here, get yourself some green herbs. Yes sir, get yourself some herbage there. There's a second one there, but can't really get that one right now, because we, as you can see, we are full on items. So, so meow, as, uh, as as would be expected, meow. Will you use the 003 key, throw it away? Yes. I wonder why they even give you an option to throw the key away, because why would you not want to, um... I mean, it's it's not like there's optional doors that like your character doesn't um, know about telekinetically. Um, so, a row of red books. There's one with a white book. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. V Jolt Report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected by the tyrant virus. We also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys the plant cells rapidly called UMB number 16. One of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. In our calculation, it will take less than five seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put the V-Jolt directly on the root. We, you need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt, but the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. Extreme, extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. UMB number 2, UMB number 4, green, UMB number 7, white, UMB number 13, blue, stimulating spell, NP003, purple, yellow 6, yellow, V-Jolt, UMB number 16, brown. Okay, so we, um... So now we can go do some mixing chemicals, um... If I am not mistaken, okay, I guess you can't see the title of the book, um, but I, I think, like, hmm, or maybe it's a book later on, I think it's a book later on, but I, I could have sworn you could see the title of that red book, and it was something like, something weird, like bondage with blood or something, but maybe I'm just going, you know, a little silly in the head, who knows, um, Oh my god, this is so annoying. I was, oh my gosh! I wasn't even watching the screen. I was looking at my computer because it had one of them computer update things on it and I had to cancel out. Um, okay, I'm still on yellow fine. So, it's still good. Um, what do we got here? Flame rounds. Those will come in very useful in a uh, little bit. Um, nothing major about this waste stand. Nothing special. Wait, did she call it a waste stand? Nothing major about this wash... Oh, wash stand. Who calls it a wash stand? I mean, really. Um, I need to get into a more comfortable recording position. Let me... Because it, it is very um, uncomfortable, I would say, right now. So, let us go across the hall. Investigate the room on the other side of the hall to mix the chemicals that we get the V-Jolt for. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Mm, a dining room. One, two, three, three, four, seven, two, four. So that's the equation, essentially. There's a UMB number two. Put it in the empty bottle. Yes, sir. Put the UMB number two. Um, now, water is a... Um, 
if I'm not mistaken, water counts as a number one, so that's how we get two and so that's how we get the equals of three. Yeah, NP number three. That's how we get that one. Um, it's kind of funny how they they just put the solution on like right here, so it's a bit odd. They just sort of hand you the uh, answer. You see, so really, it, it, this puzzle's more or less just a time consumer if if you had to label it with something. Um, combine there, number seven. Okay, good. I think we need to make number eight now. I do believe two plus four. Let's, okay, all right. Two. Yeah, we'll take that. Now uh, you got UMB number two, and let's head over here, get number four, UMB number four, yeah, I'll put it in the empty bottle, okay, and combine them, now we got yellow six, wait, two plus four, okay, okay, yeah, I'm right, and then we add a number three, so we get a, we make another of the number three solution. Okay, very, very good. Um, number two, and go get some water and put it in there. So, and then we will meow. A faucet, a faucet, a faucet. I see that it is a faucet, and I have something in all of my bottles. I guess you do need all four. I could have sworn you could do this without using all four bottles, but I, I guess you have to. Hmm bit annoying because they don't you because the um bottles just end up taking up space in your in your box later i don't think you can get rid of them at all in this game combine and six seven oh you can do it with three i should have if i combine those two first oh well v jolt all right so let us head back to the basement so we can go apply the v -jolt. Um Actually, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to check to see if I can get a cutscene to occur that typically... I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if I'm right. Since I've been blanking on a lot of the cutscenes in this game, I don't know if I will be able to activate this one, but maybe, just maybe, I can. Okay. 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 I guess not. I could have sworn you could activate the cutscene in there. Hmm. Maybe you can't yet, I don't know. Ah! Freaking computer updates, they are so annoying. So, off to the basement, which is that way, I think. Yeah, I think it's this way. If it's not this way, well, then... I don't know. And... We're in the right room. Okay, good. There's a ladder. I will descend it. Thanks for asking. Oh my, my aging hips gotta get down this... Down this ladder. Hmm. Hmm, the dining room. Okay, here we go, and here we go, and here we go. So, just doing our exercises, I guess, around the mansion. Ay vey. It's so annoying that you can't, like... That you have to go... You, you, you can't do the plant, the V-Jolt, the until after you come down here, but then when you get the V-Jolt, you gotta come back down here, right? It's, it's, it's a bit annoying, I, I might say. I must say, that is. Okay, come on in, yeah. And ooh, look at look at that beautiful PlayStation texture there. Uh, dump the V jolt on it, and uh, voila. Why the researchers couldn't do this themselves? I have no idea. It's kind of like one of those 
really sort of odd things that is irritating because they could have done it themselves, especially because they knew how to do it. And if, if they knew the calculations for v they had to have known how to make v by having made v and they still haven't drowned yet. Or not, wait, they haven't reversed drowned yet, that is. Um, would it just be called suffocating if you breathed the water and died from not having water? I don't know. Because suff suffocation is the cutoff of air, and you get air from water if you use gills, you extract the oxygen. What? And then you... I don't know. That wouldn't be drowning, and... So yeah, I guess it's suffocated. They haven't suffocated yet. Mm, kind of odd. I mean, they've been like... 30 minutes without air, I think, or I don't know. If I've been playing it that long since I encountered the sharks, I don't know. Um, so, let us backtrack some more, because that is what's fun about Resident Evil, just backtracking, backtracking all day long. Oh, oh, fun fact. Um, off screen, I learned how to snap, which is pretty, pretty awesome. I've never been able to snap before, just one of those things that, well, I've never been able to do. You know, have you ever, you ever had those things where, like, most people can do these, like, certain things, but you never can? Like, usually common things like whistling or, or something, and then you can just do it suddenly, and we got three empty bottles, go ahead and dump those in there, and we will get the bazooka out, um, and get the, uh, get the explosive rounds out, just in case. Um equip that. Uh, so if you, you ever like 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 you know like whistling or something where you can never do it and then you just randomly can. I mean I've I've always tried to snap, I've never been able to. And then I was sitting down and I was just like BAM. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty pretty bodacious. Pretty radical. Um I love 80s, like 80s, and 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 would it be like 90s, to like the uh, like the sort of slang. I I would say, slang. I guess from from that time, like you know, like how today we got like bra and bra and 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 what else? Um, I don't know. I'm not too hip with today's current standards. I'm like two decades behind. So, yeah. Mm. So let us go fight a plant, because a plant is very, very dangerous. Um, the books are well. Hmm. Oh, we gotta go the other way around, because I came out, went in there already. Darn it. Uh, I don't know why, Joe could just take the book out and then put the book back in, and that would reactivate the bookcase, but no, she feels it's better to go for a jog or something around the... The zombie-infested house. Um, definitely, I mean, I, I do that. Whenever there's a zombie apocalypse, I like to go around, you know, the house or whatever. Okay, get this guy open. Open up. Open. Open sesame. Open. Open. Plant 42. Open. Should I... Okay. 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 Oh! What am I? Oh, okay, I'm on danger mode. Now I'm on caution mode. Okay, get over there. Now shoot him. Okay, now run over here. Now shoot him again. Bam. Shoot him again. Bam. Yeah! Looks like we got to the root of the problem. So we took him out and... Hmm, didn't use nearly as much ammo as I thought I would. The reason I brought... Th the flame rounds are very important here. They are probably the... Like, I don't know if the, uh... I don't know if, if the different grenade rounds have a... Uh, damage calculation that is better on certain enemies. I, I don't know if they're, like, more effective on some. But, for some reason, like, the fire... Is the... The fire rounds are the only ones I've ever noticed a difference on. They always seem... They seem to be very effective against... Plant 40. Why did I unequip the gun? They always seem very effective against Plant 42. 
don't know why that is, but let's get out of here because we don't need to be in, he in here anymore because we have finally gotten to the root of that problem. And we have the helmet key. If you remember way back when we were at the mansion, there were helmet doors. So that's where we will be. That's where we will be heading off to in the next part after this cutscene. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was, what going, I to was say. going to say. Where on earth have you been? <laughs> where on earth have you been? All of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those But there are people. never zombies in that main room. What are you talking Is that about? Right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, the priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Where have you been? See, that, that's part three of the This Hall is Dangerous lines, where they describe the dangers of the foyer of the mansion, which never has anything dangerous in it. Also, now you can't get attacked by Plant 42 uh, if that gargoyle statue is not there, so that's very nice. Um, so, in the next part, we will head out of the guardhouse and back to the mansion. See you guys then. Bye-bye.